All right, I need gas. Hello everyone, Bike and Bird Moto Vlog here on a beautiful day here in San Antonio, Texas. Ooh, a screwdriver. We will be experiencing temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. We clear skies all around. Today's agenda is pretty short. I need to fill up with petrol. I need to run to the bank to pull out money to pay my girlfriend. And I need to run to Walmart. So that's the plan for today. My light has been on for like 100 miles. I have to say, it's probably one of the one things that I hate most about this bike. It is a little 3.3, I believe, gallon tank. Oh, I hate this construction. I'm gonna pull a little Yui right here. So I need to go this way. Oh no. I'm going to uh, get by this guy as quick as I can because he is dropping a shit ton of rocks. I don't think that's how strollers work. So I'm pretty sore today. Uh, I had a bachelor party this weekend, but it wasn't like a, a bachelor party like strippers and cocaine. I actually made a vlog episode that I'll probably be uploading within a, a month or two. I kind of want to get a bigger subscriber base before I start putting anything non-bike related. America. So it wasn't like your typical strippers and cocaine type bachelor party. It was actually kind of cool. It was a kind of a different take on, on the whole bachelor theme. I don't think you're supposed to do that. So we started off by going to a shooting range. We got to shoot skeet for a while, then we switched over to the pistol range. Uh, after that, we went to uh, K1 go-karts, which uh, I really want to talk about because, uh, I mean, if you watch the video, you'll see. And then we went into the day with uh, bubble soccer, which is essentially everyone gets in giant, like, inflatable hamster balls and uh, play soccer and then you get just knocked the shit out of each other. It was a lot harder than it really looks. Like we watched a bunch of videos online and we're like, oh, this is awesome. And this looks so fun, which it was, but uh, it was a lot of physical work to run without using your arms. You're in a little bubble like this, basically, like your shoulders are on both walls. They've got little handles to where you can grab up front. And then the fact that it was like 85 degrees, which isn't too bad, but when you're essentially under a freaking like uh, magnifying glass because of all the clear plastic, it got hot quick. Also, one thing that sucked was since I'm a bigger dude, I'm, I'm 6'2", 270, so I'm a pretty big size guy. So I was kind of a target for everyone to try to hit. We ended up doing a uh, one-on-one, -on -one, which is basically, I mean, just like it sounds, everyone would pick a partner and go on the other side of the field and say go and just run right at each other and just knock the shit at each other. Even though every single time I was hitting someone, I was knocking them off of their feet. But everyone kept calling me out and I didn't want to do it anymore because it hurt. Even though you're in a big bubble, no matter how much you're secured down, if you come to a dead stop when you're at full speed sprint, it's gonna hurt regardless. A little sore from that. I don't know if it's more from that or the guns. I haven't shot in years, so I'm a little pussy in my shoulder muscles right now. I hurt, regardless. Enough bitching. Oh yeah. Right from the front door. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. In case you're wondering why I have so much mail, for those of you who don't know me personally, I run an online decal business. Every day I have to come to this lovely post office here in Helotus, Texas, and drop off orders. Have, God damn it, I forgot my key in my pocket. Eh. All right, we're done with the post office. It's time to go over to good old Wally World. 
freaking hate Walmart so bad. I hate it with a passion. Damn it. I knew I wasn't gonna make that. <sighs> People always give me crap for these mirrors. They're like, oh, you're trying to be cool or set a trend. First off, no. I can just see so much better. Like I said, I'm a big dude. When I have them up top, my shoulders are completely 110% in the way. I can't see a damn thing. Down here, I can see almost an entire 180 degrees behind me. I love having my mirrors down there, plus I think it looks so much cooler. lost my memory cards. That would have sucked. Everybody rides a Mustang. In case you see a ton of vehicles in my videos with the blue tape, of course, I mean, most people know that's because they just had their windshield replaced. Because we had the, I believe it actually came up to be the costliest hailstorm in, I can't remember if it was Texas history or US history. I want to say it was US, but I don't want to give us that much credit if we don't deserve it, you know. The total came out to two billion dollars. Yes, that's billion with a B. The house that we're in now was actually hit pretty bad. Uh, we were actually scheduled to close on the house. Uh, I believe it was two days before that hailstorm hit, or maybe the day before. Anyways, we got a brand new roof out of it because it was still under the uh, previous owner's insurance. So we got a brand new roof, a uh, brand new garage door because the hail came in so hard it actually uh, made holes in the garage door. And we got brand new patio furniture because we had one of those little canopy things and it pretty much turned it into Swiss cheese. There's actually a few local businesses here. I'm not talking about like mom and pop businesses. I'm talking about Target that uh, are actually getting completely shut down. Their buildings are being condemned and torn down by the city because there is so much damage to their buildings. I should have parked further away. Let me get your big heavy ass out of the way. There we go. Oh yeah, baby, give me that. Let me get a dollar, give me that money. Cool. Do you love when you open your wallet expecting it to be empty and you have money in there? There's a big old truck. You know, I still have yet to see one of those Domino's delivery cars. I'm kind of disappointed. I feel like, I, f I honestly feel like it might be a joke. Look at all those shingles. Going back to my hail storm story, shingles are in high demand right now. You drive through neighborhoods and there's like at least like 150 roofers. <laughs> See, look at that. That's probably not for roofs, but. Ooh, pretty blue Harley. So that's pretty much it for today. So I totally made a wrong turn to go home that I just moved a couple months ago. Taking selfies. Goddamn millennials. 